Hi guys, welcome back to Lettuce Tree Farms. Today we're going to be talking about microgreens farming. So today's video we're going to be going into a full microgreens harvest, looking at our compostable clamshell packaging, and going into a little bit of a deep dive into our packaging choices, and the way that we go about it, some shelf life, and uh, possible things that you might want to know if you're going to start your own microgreens business, how to package so that it looks professional, and get your customers the best possible product the longest possible shelf life. So we're going to dive right into uh, some prep, going to get some things cleaned up, get myself cleaned up, get all of our protective gear on, and then get right to harvesting. Alright guys, so you see we got the hair nets, uh, face masks for COVID-19 regulation, and we always have our uh, gloves that are sanitized with our hydrogen peroxide mix. So that is always about our food safety prerogative. The scissors get cleaned twice. The first time is really just to remove any debris. The second time is actually the sanitizing. And then we can get into the harvest. So like we talked about our harvest station up above, we have our racks with paper towels that are sitting under the UV light. Now this paper towel group here was sitting under the UV light to get sanitized and is actually a part of our final packaging. It goes into the clamshells to absorb water in the bottom of the clamshells. As things condense, water builds up there. So that is beautiful red amaranth. Uh, it is a, one of the more delicate crops, so I like to harvest it first, put it separate, and give it extra time under the UV light. It is going to be a part of our spicy salad mix. Provides a lot of great color to that, but it gets harvested first and set to the side so that it can be fully sterilized and last as long as the rest of the crops within that mix. There we got some broccoli going down for the base of our regular salad mix. And you see the UV light that it sits on. And then we're going to go through with the other things for our mixes. The spicy mix uh, also includes uh, pea shoots and cilantro, wasabi, and that uh, purple radish you see in the corner there. And then that salad mix you see us sprinkling on there, the red cabbage. It also gets kale in addition to that broccoli. And then for spicy flavor, we put in arugula and curled cress. So we're going to let you see all the rest of that and keep this harvest and rolling. All right, guys, just took a little break to uh, cool off with the AC we got next to our uh, workstation here. And then I also got some harvested peas to put into our uh, salad mix. These were harvested yesterday when they were ready to go. So we have our salad mix here and our spicy mix coming together over here. But because I went outside and my hands are no longer uh, sterile, I'm going to get rid of those old gloves. I do usually pull out an extra pair of gloves uh, in case you cut through them or in case you have to touch your face or anything else. That way you can get rid of the old ones, put on the new ones, and then re-disinfect with that hydrogen peroxide mix. So we're going to get to uh, finishing up this harvest here. All right, so after we get our gloves re-sanitized, we can get back into the harvest. Now the peas that we pulled out of our storage refrigerator are a little tough in the end, so we cut off the last quarter inch there, and then cut them up into thirds so they are more evenly sized with the rest of the microgreens in the spicy mix. Now that large clamshell has four ounces of peas, and we don't need all of them. 
We do want it to get mixed in pretty well, so we harvest some of the purple radish and then get some more of the peas there to have them all mixed in. You can see we're doing two different styles of harvesting. The spicy mix is getting everything kind of harvested separate and then it will get mixed together at the end, whereas the salad mix is getting layers on layers of various uh, microgreens. So that all be hand tossed at the end and be mixed evenly regardless. We do that with the spicy mix because the amaranth um, is a little bit high risk and for at least this harvest the radishes were a little bit wet so we needed to give them some time to dry out before we mix them with everything. So that's why that fan is over top, allows things to dry and then we can get our whole mix going and uh, get everything ready to go for final packaging in the compostable clamshells. So here we're filling up a standard clamshell with our spicy mix. The standard clamshells for both mixes get 1.5 ounces of microgreens each, and the mini clamshells here get 0.75 ounces. Uh, the pro clamshells get 3 ounces, and those typically are only sold to our catering and restaurant clients. They get the larger bulk pricing with them as well. So if you're interested in stocking any of our clamshells or our microgreen mixes or any of the other microgreens we offer in your uh, grocery store or at your restaurant, please feel free to contact Lettuce Tree Farms and we'll get you a full pricing list and talk about what options are available for delivery. So here's our finished harvest flats. Uh, they actually go back in the growing station after they're done being harvested because they're not fully uh, done growing and we can get more out of them after that. So. And then here you can see all of our beautiful finished clamshells. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us on this harvest here at Lettuce Tree Farms. We hope you uh, learned a lot. And if you have any questions about microgreens, please leave it in the comments. And uh, like and subscribe for more info. But anyway, thanks for joining us at Lettuce Tree Farms today. Stay well.